thank you so much for joining me on an episode of Blooms for You. There is a lot going on. Not yet on those. Not yet. We're almost getting there. This is Dendrobium very odor, but here we have Maxillaria variabilis, lovingly called Cousin It, and he is doing fabulous. If it's your first time here, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate having you. And this is what I do for all my subscribers and my viewers. Anybody that comments in my comments section, I take down the names. And then as my orchids bloom, I want to express my appreciation for your support on my channel by dedicating individual blooms or spikes to you. So if you are new here and you haven't left a comment yet, may I encourage you to do so, so I can get your name on my list. Hundreds and hundreds of blooms on Maxillaria variabilis. This has been going on for two months now. I have had to pick off some blooms in the meantime, but he is still chucking out more buds, as you can see. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So Maxillaria variabilis, lovingly known as Cousin It, blooms for everybody that watches this video. I appreciate the time that you are taking to do so. And I can cover the masses before getting specific with Cousin It's show here. Stunning. You see, here's one that's going over and I pluck them out. But anyway, let's get on with seeing what else is in bloom. And we'll come back to him right at the end. Two spikes have been dedicated. The third one is a little bit behind on opening, but now that it is fully open, the spike goes to you, Kitchen Gardening Manita Gupta. And the third spike belongs to my Dendrobium Nafert Alex Poli. Very recently did a care collab video on that one. If you want to get to know more about it, Manita, then I encourage you to watch that video. But the third spike has opened and I dedicate this one to you. And I wish I could get these blooms properly in shot Sometimes orchids that have the prettiest blooms are the shyest. And I don't understand why. There's absolutely nothing shy about this orchid and its blooms. A very vigorous grower. And the blooms are nothing short of sensational. So why do they have to face downwards? It's such a shame. It's a bit difficult to get in there and have a proper, proper look-see. But I did want to say and dedicate her to you, Manita, full name Kitchen Gardening Manita Gupta, to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. Let me see if I can get up a little bit more and get in a little bit more. These are so complicated for no reason. Or they make it like that simply because they are so spectacular and they force you to take your time and have a look-see. Astonishing. You couldn't make this up. Mother Nature knows best. Thank you, Manita, very, very much for your support on my channel. Really appreciate it. I hope that you're doing well in your part of the world. Can we just sort of stand here and gawk for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> is that too boring? Not say a word, not interrupt this spectacle that kind of speaks for itself. This is Angraecum Crestwood Tomorrow Star. Finally in bloom. Let me get in a little bit closer because Deb's Barefoot Beauties, one of these blooms are for you. Hang TV and Tito Kai Kan. I hope I am actually saying those names correctly. Your support has been so very, very much appreciated. Deb, the first time I saw you on my channel was a day in the life of Ninja Orchids. I had to make that a two-parter because 
in the summer there's a lot going on. I feel like a yo-yo bouncing up and down. So one of these crestwood blooms is for you, Deb, as a thank you very, very much. Hang TV, you are on the updates of the Michael Mounts. I hope that you've been following the progress up until now. And one of these blooms is for you as well, as a thank you so very, very much to you for your support on my channel. And Tito Kai Kan. Tito, Tito, Tito. The first time I saw you was on Blooms For You 10. That was a long time ago. It feels like anyway. A lot of videos have been and gone and you have always been commenting and being so encouraging and kind. Thank you so very, very much. Finally, Blooms For You episode 26. I can give you a very, very special bloom on my Crestwood Tomorrow Start as a thank you to you for your support. I am absolutely loving this experience with this and Graycom. At night, when I'm working at my desk, she is very, very strong. Her fragrance is intense. It is a jasmine, to my nose, a jasmine, but not the fresh blooms, the ones that are in the cluster just about to go over. So there's a little bit of a heavier kind of back note to the jasmine in her fragrance. I would say a little bit on the burnt side, but definitely not unpleasant. Not many people seem to like this fragrance. I have to say, I love it. But then again, maybe I'm biased because I've been waiting so long to see these blooms again. So long. And here they are. And I am so happy to be able to share them with you, Deb's Barefoot Beauties. And with you, Hang TV. And with you, Tito Kai Kan. Very, very happy that these blooms made it through the winter while they were developing their buds and nothing blasted. Nothing I say with a little bit of a, hmm, what happened here? Why? Are you one of those buds that I thought would be a pollinating bud? I don't know. But aren't these gorgeous? Oh, please. I could just sit here and yap, 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 or just shut up and look. I have her really, really raised up high on a bench thing. The roots are super long, but this is actually where she lives during the summer, right up against this hedge to get as much humidity around her as possible. But for now, she's indoors so that I can enjoy these blooms. And I hope that you three are happy with this choice. A song comes to mind. Can't get enough of you. <laughs> but we have some other blooms, so let's move on. Goodness me, the reds. The reds are just a... Uh, oof, I really want to get this red in shot for you, Tyler Fox. This little Tolumnia is dedicated to you because you first showed up on one of my videos, which was all about Tolumnias. So thank you very, very much. And I waited for a pretty little red one to bloom. Finally, she has. My goodness, they take forever. But here we are. I can't tell you which one this is. I would like to believe it's the red devil, but I'm telling you that every Tolumnia that I got from the nursery back in the day when I bought these guys, to my understanding, they're all mislabeled. So I just call it an assorted tulumnia and let the color and beauty speak for itself. Unfortunately, I cannot get the color right on this one. Now that I have a little bit of cloud cover, we are getting there, but she is a little bit too pink still on camera as she would be in real life. There's a bit of a color change going on, yes. So this one's much darker red but it shows up like a little bit of a orange pinkish. And here you see the lighter pink. That is sort of a, you know, a faded out burgundy in reality. Even the little petals and sepals up here, they're really, really like a Barolo Italian wine, that deep red when you pour that gorgeous wine out into your glass. That is what these colors are up here. So I'm sorry I can't show you the true 
impact of the different breads in here, but I hope that you still like my little choice for you, Tyler. Thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. I really appreciate it, and I say that all the time to everyone, and it can appear to be repetitive, but there's only so many ways in the English language to express your appreciation. And saying thank you for your support is the one that I always find fits the best because it's a little bit more rounded. Support is a lot of things, your comments, watching my videos and replying, just being part of the channel. I really appreciate that, Tyler. So my little Tolumnia, no ID, she blooms for you. Woohoo! So excited for this one, so excited for this one. I have two blooms on my Angraecum sesquipedale variety bossery. Por fin, finally, happy, happy days. And one of the blooms is for Anna, let's get acquainted. I think that's a great suggestion. Anna, let's get acquainted, why not? Switch and swap pots is when the last time I saw you and I was hoping that I would see you again, but if anything, if anything, I do hope that you see this video, that you know that one bossery bloom goes to you as a massive, massive thank you to supporting my channel. And Dorit Brown is the second bloom that goes to Dorit Brown from, at the time, called Bits and Bobs and Surprises, which is now Orchid Pot Greek. So I've got the angle of the sun coming in a little bit radical. I don't want to destroy the coloring of this bloom, but there is an ivory tinge to her. I hope it's coming through on camera. And she is massive. Beautiful, beautiful. Anna, let's get acquainted. And Dorit Brown. These two bossery blooms are for you. Thank you ever, ever so much for supporting my channel with your comments, being here. Again, I sincerely hope that you see this video. I know it takes a long time to get to everyone. Orchids do what orchids do, but eventually I think the wait is really, really worth it. <laughs> but look at this. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. I cannot express how grateful I am to see this orchid in bloom. Again, these blooms are something, something to behold. They're so thick and so waxy, so strong, and yet they have such a delicate aura about them. And the spur goes all the way down and touches the pot. Oops, it's in the pot. Let's get it out. There we go. Look at that. And they smell beautifully at night. It's not very, very strong. You have to get up close to smell this in my climate here. And um, right now I am at the beginning of February, so this video will come out a little bit later, but I do want to take advantage of blooms when they're at their prime. So day five, she has this gorgeous, delicate, powdery vanilla fragrance. At least that is what I detect, but I had to really, really concentrate. It's not obvious that the fragrance could be on the vanilla side. But once I thought about it, I thought, okay, yeah, vanilla, I, will, I, can, I can describe vanilla. But it's not sweet. It's not like a sugar vanilla for cookies. It's not that sweet. There's more of a powdery note to it. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm really, really pleased to be able to share these with you, Anna. Let's get acquainted. And Dorit Brown, thank you ever, ever so much for your support on my channel early, early days, it means a lot. You have no idea. Words can't really do that justice, but it means a lot. So thank you ever so much. Tolumnias are coming to life. Lots of spikes happening. This is the second spike of, I will say, a Tolumnia called Pink Brisht. Not entirely sure, but that's how she came labeled with. And she makes sense in comparison to other Tolumnias I have that don't make much sense based on what their label says. But Harland, needless to say, these blooms are for you. 
I would like to say thank you, Harland, very much for leaving me a comment on my general tour video. I really appreciate that you did because now that you're on the list, I can finally get to you to say thank you to you personally for being here on my channel, so supportive. I really appreciate it. The color of these blooms are true on the camera as is in reality. My other spike here to the right, let's have a look, see, is starting to branch. So there'll be more to come, which is awesome. And this is the last little bloom hanging on. But this is cute. They are that pink. And they have that little orange tinge through the middle there. That's all exactly how I see it in real life. I find that tulumnias are extremely difficult to film and to photograph just because they're so tiny. Needless to say, Harland, my thanks to you is not tiny, not reflective of the size of the blooms. <laughs> I hope that you're doing well, Harland. Thank you ever so much. You stay safe. Late afternoon. Everybody has had their sun rays and Cousin It is still enjoying some. Right to the wire. Half in, half out. Like the globe that you see on the internet and Google Earth. When you look at day and night features, that's what's going on here. Half in, half out. He gets, when the sun is out, he gets at least seven hours of sunshine in the winter directly. That's why I have him perched here. He doesn't fit into my blooming alley indoors or anything like that. So I have to come out here quite a lot to watch him and enjoy him. Next up, Dendrobium berryoda. This is going to be a kicker. Ah, the two of them vying, vying for attention. And then in the back there, look at Cymbidium. No ID, but I call her beach balls because her buds remind me of such. Yeah, this is... This is going to be quite the group back here, very, very soon. From Cousin It and myself, thank you everybody so very, very much. Your support is appreciated. Keep those comments coming so I don't run out of names on my list because there's 40 spikes on Berry Oda. And that might just need a video all of its own. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everybody. I really appreciate it. I honestly do. Thank you so very much. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.